found dupes for popular, expensive items. Does the price really matter? I just never want to take it off. Wow, like, let me look at these feathers. You can see my entire vagina. All right, guys, you are looking at two very different shoppers. I don't mind spending a little bit more money on some quality items that one fit me right and two I can have forever. Me too, when they're on sale, because <laughs> I like a good deal. Today we found items from stores that are a bit more expensive, but then we also found a dupe of those that's a little bit cheaper. But we actually like both stores, yes. and we shop both stores a lot. So really, we're putting two stores we already love up against each other, and then seeing if the more expensive version is better than the less expensive version. So after we try on the expensive and the cheaper version, we're gonna compare and then decide which one we would actually go with, and Sinead, I think some of these are gonna be really hard for us. I like a challenge. So we found all of these dupes on TikTok. So huge thanks to Adventure with Lo for showing us that there are better options. Maybe, we'll see. Because right now we are in the Skims high neck bodysuit, which is made of fine magical material. So aroused. It is $58, which I'm gonna say this right now, doesn't seem that expensive for skims, okay? No, I really don't think that is an expensive price for a bodysuit considering the bodysuits I own. I think I paid around that. The quality is incredible. And again, when I put this on, I'm like, man, this quality is so good. It's so thin and breathable. I am not wearing a bra, but I don't feel exposed. I still like look like I have boobs, which is nice. I truly feel like I'm wearing nothing. Like if I yes. walked out, I'd be like, wait, do I have a shirt on? Yeah. Could you, you know, maybe put a top on? I love the way it fits, the snap enclosure, mm -hmm. and then in the back it's just kind of like the regular razor or whatever. I'm also not wearing a bra because I don't want to wear a bra with bodysuit, so I wanted to see how it would cover. I might like do a little tapage, but that yeah. might just be the way my boobs are shaped and the you way can, I want them to look. I really do think the biggest draw for me is how soft it is and how yeah. breathable it is. I don't know, I'm really liking this. The price does not hurt. That's a good start. Now we are in the Express Dupe. It's $34, and I really, really like this. This is a little big, I will mm -hmm. say. I could have definitely sized down, mm -hmm. but I like that it's a little thicker than the Skims. For me personally, when clothes are thicker, it makes me feel more secure and more held in. I felt so snatched in that uh, Skims bodysuit, whereas this one, the part where I want to be snatched is has this gap underneath my boobs and in the stomach area. If I stand up tall, I can get rid of it, but if I'm just standing normally, it kind of bunches right here. Oh yeah. And to me, I'm like, oh man, like that's what I really like about the Skims bodysuit is that it felt like a second skin. It was like perfectly cupping my boobs, and here I just don't feel like it's doing that. I do think this could be a dupe though, but if we're gonna pick one, Sinead, I'm gonna go with Express. The thickness of it makes me feel more secure. Yeah. Even though I would size down in it, I just feel more comfortable and confident. I just think for my personal style especially too, I'm gonna go Skims. We are divided. All right, everyone, gird your loins. Now we are taking a TikTok from our girl River and she found a dupe for this free people bralette and it is $34 and guys, I just gotta tell you, one, I've never felt more exposed and two, <laughs> I don't like this, just period, point blank. Yikes. It's supposed to be a shirt. This is right. not supposed to be worn totally under your clothes. You obviously want people to see it. The straps are adjustable, which I will say is a bonus. Mm -hmm. A lot of bralettes are not. But it has also the scrunchy back, which is nice. You don't have to like clasp it or anything. I mean, there's so many things about this that I don't like, obviously. One is just not my vibe, so I'm trying to pretend that it doesn't look like. What if it was black? Maybe, maybe. It's also this cro crochet type of material that's just all free people. It's mm -hmm. just like a bunch of overpriced doilies and I just can't get on board with that, you know? <laughs> In terms of the way it fits and feels, it fits fine. It is yeah. a little bit exposed. We both had to adjust the straps. The feel of it is fine. It's all fine. I'm still not entirely convinced. Back in a substantially cheaper mm -hmm. version of the bra top, this is from Rue 21. It comes in a variety of colors, but obviously this peachy orange is the closest to that free people bra top. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is a purposeful dupe in any way, but it is pretty close in the sense of like this more crochet type style without being crochet. The quality of this is nothing compared to the quality of the free people bra, but I still prefer this, I think, because this actually is a softer material, it's actual bra material. Yeah. But in terms of being like a bra top, 
I actually feel like this style is better because of where it sits. I used to buy bralettes like this all the time. Yeah. And mm -hmm. this is the price I would pay for these. Right. And I don't mind it at all. This one, I did get an extra large and it is a little big on me, so I would size down. But again, this one does have adjustable straps in the back, which is good. And it doesn't have those two straps. It's simply the one. I like this down here. I think that's a nice touch. As a bralette, it's okay support, but I think if you have any bigger boobs than mm -hmm. I do and you want support, you're absolutely not gonna get it. Uh, Sinead said, as far as a dupe, not a purposeful dupe, but if we had to choose one, I would go with the inexpensive Rue 21 one. I think it's softer. I would wear it under clothes, so I think it's easier to wear under clothes. And I just think the Free People one for me would not be worth the money for what I would wear it for. I obviously prefer this one, but I also don't think that this is necessarily a good dupe because the materials are so vastly different. Mm -hmm. I think I would have to go with the Free People one, even though I wouldn't ever want to wear either one of these tops. But I think if I was looking for a dupe and I got this material, I would be hella disappointed. I know, it's all very confusing. Moving on to our workout round. So Renee from TikTok got us onto perhaps a set active dupe. Mm -hmm. But first we are in, of course, this set active set. A top and a bottom. The top is 45, the bottom is 65. It feels like I would be really comfortable running or doing like high activity in this or whatever. And the top is hella cute. I have um, a couple set active sets and they're not this material. This is more of like a ribbed, like Sinead was saying, compression material on the top and on the bottoms. As far as working out, I wouldn't work out in the top just because the boob situation of it all. And now that I did get an extra large, I would size down to a large. This one is a little bigger than the other ones that I have, but it gives me like rich mom, grocery store. I tried and I didn't Whole Foods vibes. Right. And that's kind of what I strive for these days when you're 30. 30 and flirty and thriving. But I really, really like this. And I don't think the price is that bad compared to other brands where yes. you can't get a set for less than probably $200. <laughs> The leggings especially are Ooh. super compression. Mm -hmm. I do wish it was a little bit more comfortable, just like a hair. The top is so nice. I love the top and I do love how high these come up too. They're really high waisted, which is nice, but I just wish the material on the bottom was just a little bit softer. But I'm really curious to see the Amazon duper about to try because it is so much cheaper. I'm so stoked, my dudes. Right off the bat, I have a couple pros and a couple cons. Pro? Price is great for both pieces. 35 for both pieces, something you really can't beat. Con, if you're different size on the top and on the bottom, you might have to order two sets and then mix match return the other ones because you have to buy them together. Another con, the padding. I have multiple Amazon mm -hmm. sets of this ribbed nature that I do really love, but I always rip out the damn padding. We don't want it. Give her what she wants. Inside of this, there's this weird line seam, but it is because they create the inserts for the padding, which yeah. the set active one did not have any padding. It was simply the material. Yeah, In those terms are mine. of the way it looks, it's a really great dupe, okay? Mm -hmm. Like this is 100% the style. This is also very high waisted. It's got that thick band. It's got the ribbings on the side. I really like this color. It's pretty damn close in compression. Definitely not close in thickness. I'm standing with my legs spread apart because when I say you can see my entire vagina, you can see my entire vagina. I don't think I would feel comfortable walking out of the house in these leggings. If this is like the style you're going for, 35 bucks for both pieces you really can't beat. Oh, I think it's all. really, really good. I just feel like this, while inexpensive, it is one of those items I'm gonna look at and be like, okay, how often am I gonna work out? If you work out a couple days a week and you only have a couple sets you love, you might go through this really fast. Yeah. Or, you know, something about it just might, you know, rip in the wash. Whereas a set active one, I'm like, I could have that for many, many years. Years. And it still fit the same inside, outside of the wash. So I think when picking this one, I'm gonna go with set active simply for the thicker quality, better material. My biggest thing I think, again, like Bridget said, is quality. That set active one's gonna last forever. Also looking at your top, look at my top, you see how this is like already folding over? It mm -hmm. just doesn't have the thickness to kind of hold up all of our parts and things like that, where I feel like the set active one you put on, it just stays there, it doesn't move. Especially if you wanna like go running or be seen in public. I would no. go with the set action one. She wants to be seen in public. She does not want to be seen in public. No. Period. Next, we have sweat sets. And Teal has found us a dupe for this Aritzia one we're wearing from Old Navy. We are wearing the boyfriend um, fit top and the boyfriend fit pant from Aritzia. I own a couple of these sets. So the total for this is 140. 
But you guys, we <laughs> live in a culture now where wearing sweats like this with some cool sneakers or shoes is very acceptable. The length is perfect, the fit is always perfect. They wash beautifully. I never have to worry about them shrinking on mm. me. So that's another big thing. You wanna be able to throw clothes in the wash yes. sometimes and just leave them. It's so soft. I just never wanna take it off. When it comes to being sustainable, this is the type of thing where once I have like outworn this or the style or whatever, I would be able to donate because it's gonna hold up for years to come. Reuse, recycle, Rihanna. Moving on to the dupe. I don't even want to call this a dupe, honestly. I feel like Old Navy has been rocking sweats for a long time, but recently they came out with a gender neutral line. This is 85 for both. Mm -hmm. But I will say, Old Navy, as we know, and as I like to remind everybody out there, is always on sale. You just have to get the code. It's usually at least 30% off. The Old Navy set is so good in terms of feeling like really loungy, whereas the Aritzia set is a little bit more fitted. Mm -hmm. This Old Navy set is like, plop me down on the freaking couch right now. It is oversized in the best way. I feel so free in here and it is so soft. I don't know what I'm supposed to say about this and I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I feel like I'm cheating on one with the other. You don't have to do this. I love these colors. Yeah. I just think they're rich. They're like rich, nice colors and like sweat colors. I don't think the inside is as soft as Aritzia, no. but it is still very, very soft. And the fit of this is a lot more slouched oversized. The pants, I got a large in both. They fit very similar. This top is a lot more slouchy, which I kind of prefer. But and this one also has a pocket? Yeah. I don't know what I'm putting in there when I'm on the couch. You can put candy in it. <laughs> If you want like a true slouchy feel, you're gonna prefer the Old Navy over the Aritzia. But yes. the Aritzia one definitely like looks higher quality, I think up close. But also the Old Navy sweats, some of their colors are to die for. It's hard too, because I feel like Aritzia's colors are tend to be a bit more muted. Mm -hmm. And Old Navy, like Shane said, Old they do Navy have like the sand and the stone, like, but then they also don't. You them. know what? I'm the producer, I'm breaking my rules. I'm picking both. I'm not picking this round. I refuse to pick. I want both, I'll have both, and that's where it stands. <laughs> I think that this is cruel and unusual punishment, but when you, especially when you know I own this in multiple colors, and I still want this one, because I don't own it in this color. You I guys get it. have approval from Sinead and I to buy both, to enjoy both, and to live your lives, because yeah. we're gonna take both home. Well, that settles it. So Blonde Bailey was doing her research real quick, because <laughs> this feather top just hit the web. All right, it's from Revolve. It is $275 dollars. Well, there's more? When I look down, it looks like it's alive. I don't find it to be extremely comfortable. I'm also wearing my size and it doesn't fit. Aside from all of those things, I have to take myself away from the fact that I do think this shirt is ugly. And I still think it is so overpriced. I'm not surprised if there would be like 50 dupes for this because a feather top like this, I could totally see as being something that a lot of people would like. It's a very mm -hmm. specific type of outfit. You're not wearing this every day, at least I hope you're not, no offense. Fashion is art. Doesn't seem worth the price to me at all. And honestly, where the feathers are in, it's like kind of scratchy. And if you put your arms down, you can kind of feel like weird, hard bumps in the actual shirt. When I talk about paying for things that are more expensive, that are quality, I'm talking about classic staple right. items. I can't move my arms without it coming alive. And it's shedding. In the dressing room, I saw a bunch of feathers on the ground. So by the yeah. time you're like going a crazy night out, you might be bare. <laughs> like you might have nothing on you. Yes. yes. Now, to the dupe. And no, I am not wearing the dupe. My dupe actually didn't come in the mail. Sinead's dupe is from Pepper Mayo and we did have to pre-order them, so it just didn't get to us. Probably because you guys all saw that TikTok and were like, $300, absolutely not, and buying the Pepper Mayo one. And the Pepper Mayo dupe is 60, so significantly less than $300. Obviously the fur doesn't go all the way around in this one. It is just a stretchy material. I think that that actually makes the top look better. Like, it looks thinner, more like a top, less like, a rug. There's a lot of boning in this one that is more defined too, that adds a little bit more structure. In terms of quality, there are no scratchy parts, but the feathers are not covering every bit of this. They're almost like in lines. The feathers are slightly different. This one up close definitely looks nicer, like a higher quality than this one. But yeah, I mean like, who's bit. really gonna come up to you and be like, 
wow, like, let me look at these feathers. I think it, this one looks better on me than the other one did, and I don't know what the reason is. I do think it is because this looks more like a top. I even think that's a tad pricey for that kind of top, oh, yeah. so for wearing a one-time piece, paying almost $70 for it. Regardless, I'm gonna go with the Pepper Mayo top. Absolutely. There's no way you're gonna see $300 spent on my account for this top. I also agree that 70 bucks for this top is expensive just because of the rewearability aspect of it. But hey, listen, if you love feathers and you do wear them on a weekly basis, then 70 bucks might be worth it for you. At the end of the day, no matter what we say, it comes down to personal preference. Mm -hmm. I do think that's amazing that we are seeing that there are ways to make really cute, viral, trendy tops more affordable to people who have things to pay, like for food and water. Not all heroes wear capes. That's right. Or feathers.